Hi, YouTube. <laughs> hey, I just want to talk about something really quick that I don't, I don't see anybody else talking about it. And uh, it just blows my mind that no one addresses this issue. But this is why I don't like Trump and I don't like Biden. Because they both did the same thing, basically. So when Trump became president, he gave the biggest tax cut in history to the top richest people in the entire out of, in the United States of America. Biggest tax cut in history. Um, and then because we didn't have any money left, because we're already in debt, so we don't have any room to give money away or give tax breaks. We should be collecting tax. But because we didn't have money, tax reserves, um, to pay for Social Security, Medicare, um, <clears throat> education, uh, government employees, roads, services, blah, blah, blah. We had to turn around and borrow that money from the rich people that we just gave it away to. And then, now, we are paying interest on every year on the money that we're borrowing from the rich people that we just gave to them in the first place. So before in history, before Trump became president, we would just tax the rich people. They would pay their fair share of taxes. And then the deficit wouldn't be ridiculous like it is now. Okay. Number two, when Trump became president, he said, well, we're going to, create manufacturing jobs because they were all outsourced to China. So we're going to make our economy great again like that. What did he do? He started a trade war with them and created 100% tariffs, which created 100% inflation. But that's not the issue here. Because we're broke and we're in debt, we had to borrow money from someone. The highest, the, the person that we owe the most money to is Japan. Number two is China. Why would you start a trade war with the person that we owe money to? We owe eight hundred, like billion or eight hundred trillion dollars to China. So now you create a trade war with them. Hold on, but we're paying we're paying taxes to China every year for the interest that we owe them, right? On eight hundred billion dollars. Okay, so you create a trade war with them, right? And you know that they're in cahoots with Russia now, right? Because of the Ukraine thing. But, so you know that, that <laughs> they're in cahoots with Russia because of the Ukraine thing, right? But you borrowing money from China to give it to Ukraine for the war. So we don't have money, right? This is this is politics. This is how we get in play. This is how they don't talk about this shit. They don't want you to know. We're in debt. We borrowed money from China. China is working with Russia. Russia is in war is at a war with Ukraine. We're sending take we're borrowing money from China to give it to Ukraine. And China knows about this. And then we, we're paying interest on the money that we borrowed from China to give to Ukraine and Israel. But we're in debt. And this keeps us, and then we have to keep on get paying taxes and, you know, getting sucked dry, getting blood sucked. And we can't even afford the groceries, the, the rent, the, because of the inflation from the trade war that Trump created with China. So we're getting screwed everywhere we turn. You don't, y'all don't see that shit? <sighs> the fucked up thing is that this is all a game. China knows that we're funding Ukraine. They'll, yeah, here's some more money. And also the rich people that we gave the tax breaks to, they're loaning us money too so that we can give it to Ukraine. But they're all working together. 
They're all working together to fuck us. We're suffering. We're paying for it. Then, because of the trade war and shit and the inflation, the groceries go up. The cost of everything goes up. Who's paying for that? We are. Who's paying the interest? Who's paying for the to pay the loans back? We are. To pay back the elites. To pay back China. We are. It's all a fucking game, yo. It don't matter who you really vote for because Biden, he could have stopped the 100% tariffs. Biden, he could have stopped the tax breaks to the rich, which expire next year. It's going to be interesting to see what Kamala does in December of this year coming up because the tax breaks on the rich expire this year in December. So we're going to find out who she's working for. Okay. But, you know, y'all need to wake the fuck up and see, see what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Just do me a favor. When y'all ready to start looting, oh, he'll, look, there's another thing. Why are all the rich people buying all the land in Hawaii and building underground bunkers? Because they know that what they're doing is they cannot sustain this economy. We are, the American empire is over. We're on the way out. Like, we're, like, China and Russia are about to take over the global economy. BRICS is about to take over the global economy. We are no longer the world superpower. We're, this is our, this is the beginning of our end. Nobody wants to talk about that shit, okay? That's why Oprah Winfrey, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, all the elites are buying all the land in Hawaii and building bunkers underground. Some of them are building bu underground bunkers here. Because everybody can't have land in Hawaii. But when the shit hits the fan, it's going to come to a revolutionary war. There's going to be a rich versus poor war. They could not, people are going to get pissed off. We're going to, it, it just, it depends on how much you want to suffer. When are you guys ready to start looting? When are you guys ready to start killing all the rich people? Y'all let me know. Come get me. Because I got my Christmas list. I already know the Bilderbergs. I know where the Rothschilds stay. I know where Oprah's. I know where all the rich people stay. Beverly Hills. We're going to the Hamptons. We're going to Miami, Florida. We're going to hit all the fucking rich people. We're going to kill them and rob them. When y'all ready to start looting, y'all let me know. But they gonna probably be on the ground in them bunkers <laughs> and try to hide as much money as they can. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, they gonna go to Hawaii where they can't be touched. <clears throat> y'all not seeing the shit that's going on though. Y'all not paying attention to what's going on around you. 